I'm John Calder with Acoustic Geometry. We're here doing an acoustic intervention at Old Blackberry Way Studio in Minneapolis with owner Neil Weir. Hi, Neil. Hi, John. Well, this has been a studio mainstay in the Minneapolis music scene for years. Can you give us a little of its history? Yeah, it's been a studio since the early 70s. A lot of bands recorded here in the 70s and 80s. Uh, Soul Asylum, Replacements, Who Screw Do, Suburbs. You've got a really great updated 70s and 80s feel to the place. It's really a, a great spot to do music in. What kind of bands record here now? It tends to be bands who want to take a fairly organic approach to recording. And how long have you owned the studio? About eight years. And in that time, you've made some improvements. What's the main reason you called us for an acoustic intervention? Well, I've done quite a bit of broadband absorption in my control room, and I'm generally happy with the results, but I'm curious as to what a little bit of diffusion would add. Well, I think we can help you. Good. Neil already has a lot of absorbers in his room, so we're putting in five curved diffusers, two medium curves on each side of the main listening position, one overhead, and two small diffusers in the back. Neil, you've spent probably hundreds of hours in this room, both recording and mixing. Why don't we play something you're really familiar with and uh, get your first impressions after you've listened to a few minutes of it. All right. So, Neil, what do you think? It's interesting because it seems to be kind of more focused in a way that I wasn't necessarily expecting it to be that reminds me more of the mastering studio than that most of the stuff I work on ends up at which I think is like a very good sign what we're gonna do is leave you alone for 20 30 minutes let you listen in uh, calm and peace and we'll come back and ask you further impressions after you've had a chance to listen at a little more length we're back with Neil after he's had a chance to listen to his new acoustic environment for 25 or 30 minutes. Neil, any further impressions? Yeah, um, the listening environment in general seems more even now. Um, the imaging seems more consistent. The low end seems more consistent. The top end seems to have just a sort of like natural liveliness that I feel like I was missing. And I think in the end, it'll be less fatiguing. And you've had a chance to move around the room a little bit. Any impressions from different listening positions in the space? Yeah, it's pretty remarkable how much more consistent it is as I move through the room. So in terms of an overall impression in just a couple of words, uh, how would you describe it? More even. Thanks, Neil. If you have an idea for an acoustic intervention, go to AcousticGeometry.com and send us a comment. Thanks for watching. And Neil, thank you very much. Thank you, John.